I am Batman. But, I mean, Average Sniper. What's up, guys? Average Sniper here, just playing my new favorite game, Battlefield Hardline. Learning to snipe. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I put the wrong scope on my knockout when I first spawned in. I was trying to put the 6X on, but I put the 7X on, and I totally suck balls with the 7X, so... Please don't judge me for my first couple of shots, and be sure that this gameplay will be awesome. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, this is the 7x scope on the knockout, and uh, as soon as I die, I will put the 6x scope on, because I just don't like this little scope, the little uh, red triangle thing. It reminds me... It reminds me of... Oh, what am I thinking? It reminds me of the Dragon Off from uh, Black Ops 2, I think, or... What? No, the Dragon Off. That was no, something. You know what? I think it was MW3. The, a Dragon Off MW3 Black Ops 1. Whatever it was from Call of Duty. It reminds me of that shit. I don't like that shit, okay? I like the 8X scope or the 6X scope. And uh, the 6X scope has a nice little red dot in the middle. It's kind of cool. It can get annoying if you're going for long shots because it blocks out like a pixel of the screen. But for uh, close to medium range, it's pretty good. And most of this map, the shots I get are going to be pretty close to medium range so I'm gonna show you guys a spawn trap place I found in team deathmatch on a bank job that's the map we're playing here and uh, it's right over here by these pillars um, or columns or whatever the fuck these things are these, these big ass things I put a couple laser trip mines down because the enemies always spawning in there and they're always spawning in right there right where I'm looking by that uh, by that building see over here oh look there's one right now spawning in I fucking missed him, man. I fucking missed him. So, uh, I've been using, like, the Scout Elite, the AWM, and the R700 for the past couple days. Needless to say, uh, the shot is off on the 300 when I first started playing this game. You can tell. But, uh, after this, I pretty much start hitting everybody. See, the bullet velocity, or the bullet speed is so slow, and the bullet drop is amazing bullet velocity is slow man it's like you have to lead everybody you shoot now this is a this is a little spawn trap spot and i do spend a little time here so I look behind me. i'm waiting for the dudes to spawn in front of me they start spawning behind me that's fucked up but you know it's whatever i get quite a few kills uh from right here i think by the time the game ends i end up with like uh 35 kills uh from the 300 knockout so now i'm getting my shot back and you know what it might be it might be a little cheap to stand here and aim at the spawn but trying to play this game in Team Deathmatch with 64 players on these little ass maps without spawn trapping is crazy. It's just crazy because everywhere I go, I get spawn trapped. Every time I spawn in, people are shooting at me. It's like, it's like how they want you to play the game, you know. Obviously, they designed it like this for a reason. All right, let's spawn people right in front of other people, right in front of enemies, you know. It's like, damn. So, I guess the best bet, look at that, double kill, laser trip mine. Laser trip mine, double kill. So, yeah, it's good having that laser trip mine there. Finally getting my shot back with a knockout. Which, by the way, is my favorite sniper rifle, if you haven't figured it out. Yeah, I know, everybody says it's overpowered and this and that, but try shooting somebody more than 50 meters away. I've actually got a headshot hit marker with this thing. Dude was like 150 meters away, I think. Somewhere between 150 and 200 meters and uh, I was shooting like crazy at him, he was moving around. I finally got a headshot on him, got the red hit markers right in the middle of my screen. You know what happened? The dude didn't die. He shook the bullet off like a boss and kept going. Try getting a follow-up shot at 150 to 200 meters out with a 300 knockout. It ain't easy. The 300 knockout is definitely a sniper rifle, but it's a close to medium range sniper rifle. And uh, if you're playing against people that are using assault rifles and submachine guns, it's a pretty fair fight, I think. Um, God, man. God, I hate... Man, I'm just missing like crazy. Look at this. This is crazy. It's crazy that I'm missing so much. Well, let me talk about my, my camo since I'm missing so many shots here. It is the Zebra Blaz. There's a Zebra Blizz and the Zebra Blaz. And the, the Blizz is green and the Blaz is purple, pinkish, whatever that color is. It's fuchsia. I don't know, but it's... It's cool as fuck. It's probably not very uh, camouflage, but I don't care. Look, man, that, they're spawning behind me more than they're spawning in front of me. God damn. God damn. So, I saw one guy. I was playing uh, this game earlier. And I want you guys to keep in mind that 
I've uh, been a Call of Duty player until Hardline came out, so I've only been playing this game for about three, three and a half weeks maybe, but I'm really starting to figure it out, and I think I'm starting to get better at it. So I want you guys to bear with me, and that's the whole point I'm, of this, uh, of this mini-series I'm doing, a learning to snipe. It's basically my quest to become a good sniper. There's a good shot. A good sniper in uh, Battlefield Hardline and uh, maybe move on to the next battlefield that comes out because right now I'm enjoying this a lot more than Call of Duty. I am a sniper enthusiast and Call of Duty has been moving away from the sniper community uh, for their last two releases. The last good release was Black Ops 2. That was great for sniping. It was great for any weapon you wanted to use. It was just balanced. All the new Call of Duties are not very balanced, especially when it comes to sniper rifles. So I'm finding out that the balance in Battlefield Hardline um, it could be better, but it's a lot better than Call of Duty Advanced Warfare right now. That game is, uh, I mean, it's possible to snipe. I've been sniping in it for ever since it came out, and I've been keeping a positive KD around 1.5, 1.6 overall, but it's not fun. You know, it's, it's just annoying. This game is much more fun to snipe in. Pull out my secondary, and I still get owned right there. So now it's time to move on to a different spot. I got 17 kills uh, f since the game started, and most of them were from right there. So that is uh, definitely one of my top spots. But then you get spawned on the other side of the map over here, and you got to figure out what to do. See, do you, do you see that what just happened there? I spawned in, and there was a sniper waiting for me. It's just how the game works, and right now that's how it has to be played. If you don't like that, don't play Team Deathmatch. Go play something else where you can choose where you want to spawn. But right now, the way Team Deathmatch seems to be played is just by pure spawn trapping. You know, and if you're not spawn trapping, you're on the roof shooting down at people that are probably spawning in. So technically, I would say probably 75% of the people you shoot in Team Deathmatch have probably just spawned in. And uh, I hope they... Oh, man, look at that. That's another thing. Kill trade, man. Come on with the kill trades. I hope they uh, can correct this in the near future, because um, I really don't enjoy shooting people right as they spawn in. It's kind of helping me learn how to snipe better in this game, um, because I get more opportunity to use my gun against people who don't really know they're about to get shot. Um, but I have just as much opportunity to shoot people who are already out, you know, moving around. I'm just, I'm just trying to learn the sniping in this game, and as much as people told me, oh, it's Oh man, it's so different from Call of Duty sniping, this and that, this and that. It's really not. And you might say, hey, that's just because you have the knockout. But you know, I use the other sniper rifles a lot too. And I'm getting used to the two-shot kill, and I'm really getting used to going for headshots. I will say that headshots in this game, when you're sniping, excuse me, when you're sniping in this game, headshots seem so much easier to get than they do in Call of Duty. It's just, I don't know, it's just easier. It's easier to get the headshots. It's not like, I'm not saying it's super easy, I'm saying compared to Call of Duty, it's easier to get headshots on this in this game. The movements of the players are more predictable. Uh, they're grounded, so there's no exosuits, people jumping into the air. And uh, while the exosuits were fun for a while, they got old pretty quick. And it took a lot of the uh, snipers away from Call of Duty, and honestly, when Battlefield Hardline came out, I thought, oh, I'll buy it, I'll just play it with my friends for a little while, um, or I'll just play it when my friends are online, but then I found myself like learning how to play the game, trying to unlock the 300 knockout, spending way more time on Battlefield Hardline than I was on Call of Duty, you know? Call of Duty was getting so old for me, I'd play it for like an hour or two a day and be done with it, you know? And I like to play more than an hour or two a day, you know. I do work a full-time job. I'll tell you my schedule. I wake up early in the morning. 7 o'clock is early for me. I work out for about an hour, give or take. And then I uh, go to work and uh, my job of fixing computers for a living. Uh, most of the time I can work from home, but a lot of times I will be out on the road going places where I have to fix hardware and replace parts and things like that. And I work the 9 to 5 job Monday through Friday. And uh, since I work out in the morning when I get home, you know, at 5 o'clock or if I get off early, which I usually do around 3.30ish if I'm lucky, I get to uh, play video games for the rest of the night, you know, and uh, that is that is how I like to live my life, and it's fun. But with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I was not having fun doing that. I was trying to find other things to do, and I didn't know of any other games that would interest me, because I pretty much am only into first-person shooters where you can, you know, snipe. 
So then I found Battlefield Hardline, and that's what I've been doing ever since. So I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay that I've been uploading, all the footage and stuff. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this gameplay. It's coming to a close. And uh, 300 knockout, ladies and gentlemen. A beast sniper rifle. I'm still uh, trying to get better with it. I, I could still probably get a lot more kills if I could get my battlefield accuracy up and uh, basically stop playing the game like I'm playing uh, Call of Duty. But I'm working on it, and it won't be long. Uh, until I'm all the way there. So, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this stuff, all this uh, gameplay. And if you did, go ahead and uh, leave my video a like, go ahead and favorite it, share it, and uh, most importantly, subscribe to my channel so I can make all kinds of YouTube money. I'll tell you what, I'm making right now six bucks a month. I know it ain't much, but guess what? If I was ever homeless, that would pay for like one McDonald's value meal every month, and that's all I need. That's all I need. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, favorite, subscribe for more. Later.